Management of Cholera Prepared by Mr. Artembo Specific Nursing Care The patients must be in treatment centers, cholera centers. Isolate the patient and apply all measures to prevent cross-infection by putting on gloves, masks and gowns. Use separate feeding utensils and nurse on the cholera bed. Rehydrate the patient and take care of the intravenous line. Encourage the patient to take a lot of oral fluids. Maintain intake and output chart, measure and record vital signs, PPR, BP hourly depending on the condition. Reassess the patient 4 hourly to see the level of hydration. Disinfect the stool and vomit as before disposal if not available wood ash can be used. No visitors allowed, trace contacts. Control measures. Notify authorities, trace contacts, and contacts of active cases are commenced on antibiotic treatment in addition to surveillance. Restrict people from gathering at funerals and any form of gatherings. Burying of the dead is done by the health authorities who take necessary precautions for example the corpse is wrapped in plastic paper and put in linen in the grave. The ritual washing of the body is avoided. The house and the environment where the patient came from will be disinfected. Water sources should be identified and chlorinated them. Encourage people to boil drinking water. IUC campaign to the public on hygiene. It can be done through drama, use of posters, radios, TV and PA systems. Health education slash prevention. Educating the patient and relatives on modes of transmission for the disease and how it enters the body and how they can protect themselves from such roots. Warn them not to be buying food from unhygienic places and that of proper washing and keeping of food. Encourage the community to be using their toilets and also that they should be washing their hands after using the toilet. No funeral gathering. All dead bodies should be reported to communal workers to be buried in a recommended way. Places with epidemics, other crowding in form of meetings, games should be discouraged. Guarding restriction movements of people from the known epidemics. Report to the nearest authority any known case of cholera. Advice on discharge 
continue taking medicines at home as prescribed by the doctor. Teaching family how to replace patients' fluids, salts and glucose orally at home. Advice any patient traveling to an epidemic area to boil all drinking water. Signs and symptoms of complications to report to the nearest hospital. Good nutrition. Avoid places with epidemic outbreaks. Teach the methods of preventing the disease. Continue with the measures that were taken or carried out in the hospital.